guys, Lily here. Welcome back to my channel. How have you guys been? I hope that every single one of you has been doing great. Um, well, today, hubby and I are out here um, at this little fishing pond that we call the pallet pond, and we decided to come show it to you guys. We've been home all this time since March 24th. Yeah that we have not come fishing since the last video that I posted. And um, we decided to come do a little bit, bit of fishing because I just, I needed the, I need the fresh air and I need my dose of nature, like I always say. The noises you hear, guys, we're very close to a freeway, so that's all the noises that you guys can hear. Um, we're over here just alone, hubby and myself, nobody else, so we are social distancing. Fishing is mostly about that. You don't want nobody near you. But um, yeah, a lot of people don't come here because it's a very steep hill that you have to drive. There goes some tire marks from somebody that already came fishing here. Um, it's a very steep hill, so a lot of cars don't come down here. Or you could either park up there. I can't do it. Over there. You can park up there and then walk it all down that, that thingy right there but um yeah so stay with us uh, i don't care if we catch anything hubby and i told my hubby i go i don't care if we catch anything i just want to do a little bit of fishing guys y'all might hear me huff and puff a little bit because i'm so out of shape but this is one of my favorite ponds to come fishing to um but we don't come fishing to it as much because the walk and then it's like a hill, like a downhill. And it's a lot of work to get, bring the boat down here and then to haul it back up, it's even like harder. It's a workout. And hubby's been doing this all by himself because my back hurts. Well, it's feeling a little better, but he doesn't want me to do anything that will strain my back. So he's doing it all by himself. That little dolly looking thing What's a little dolly, right? You could call it like a little dolly thing. It's just a plank of wood with two wheels on it. He made it for us just uh, so he can, <laughs> yeah, just so he can roll the boat in here and make it easier because the boat is heavy. Yeah, we call this the pellet pond because as y'all can see all the way over there, I don't know if y'all can tell, there's some pellets. It's been raining a lot and the grass is like so high over here and I don't think um, they've come to cut it. I don't know if the workers are doing this right now because of what's going on, but like I said, there's nobody out here, just hubby and I and I felt like I needed to get out the house for a while. And we're on the boat guys guys this is a boat I mean this is a pond that I fell overboard in the one that I told you guys I don't know if y'all see that stick right there by hubby but um, there was a lure tangled up right there and um, hold on you guys guys we had to get out the water because hubby noticed that the boat has a little hole it has a leak so I don't know, he's trying to see if he can clog it up or something so we can go fishing. If not, I don't know, I guess we're gonna have to go home, but. but. So, we're just sitting out here in the boat and I don't know what he's trying to fix over there. But if he can't put anything, like I said, we're just gonna have to go home. I don't know what hubby's gonna go get from the truck, but he said he would be back. See what I tell you guys at Steve Hill that he has to um, push the boat up through and then he doesn't want me to help him. Guys, Heavy says that it's a really big crack that the boat has so I don't know. He's going to try and do a little, um, I don't know, a little like, what do you call it? He's going to try to do a little quick plug on it. 
So I don't know if you guys can see it. I doubt it, but right there is a little crack. And the water was seeping through and hubby's gonna dry it and I don't know what he's gonna do to it. Okay guys, so you can't see it that good, but he melted some of the plastic from our um, little boxes that have the fishing lures, and yeah, he melted it and stuck it on there, so see if that works. Okay, back in the water we go. Oh, well, hubby's going to check it to see if it don't leak. But mate, what about with all our weight, like when I get in there? It's leaking? No, guys. It didn't work. Hubby's a little daredevil, guys. <laughs> he said to go ahead and um, that we're going to go ahead and risk it a little bit just right here through the edge. This little edge. Oh, that little edge through there. I mean, it's coming in the boat. The water's coming in the boat, but it's not coming in all fast. Is it still coming in as fast? It's not coming in as fast, so. We'll go throw a little bit of cast through there and then come back. As I was telling y'all, over there in that area, somewhere over there, I fell overboard because um, there was a lure stuck in one of the branches. And you, you guys know how we always like to um, look look at the trees. Hubby and I, we like to look at the trees and see if there's any lure stuck in there. So that time, I don't know if Hubby or I had spotted it but one of us spotted it and I'm like, I got it, I got it. And so I leaned over and as I leaned over, the seats that we have, they're not like, I don't know how to say it. They're not, the seats that we have aren't attached. So as I reached over, the seat like came off and then I fell in the water and I do not know how to swim. Like I said, and I was like terrified, I panicked and it was like the worst experience ever. But then, um, the good thing is the water felt great. It was like a hot day. Well, it wasn't even a hot day. It was in the morning, but the water didn't feel cold at all. That was weird. The water didn't feel cold and we kept fishing. And the good thing about that day is I caught a crappie, right? I caught a crappie that day, boo-boo, over there. So, and it was a pretty good sized one. Um, if I can find the picture, I'll put it right here. Hubby's back there. Hubby, lean the other way so they can see you. I don't know if they can see me. <laughs> I don't know how to position my phone. And then it looks black most of the time. Fishing pole sounds ugly. Like too dry. <laughs> I hadn't used it in a while. Like when I throw it. You guys remember this lure that I found on the last video? The one that I posted before staying at home? This one's it, I'm using it right now. And Hubby's using a similar one that we have, but his is black and gray, mine is blue and gray. The sun is blazing hot. 
but the wind feels nice and, and cool. And the water is nice and calm. Don't you guys love this? No, I got it stuck. Guys, hubby hates it when I get stuck. He gets mad. He gets mad at me. But when he gets it stuck, it's fine. But when I when I get it stuck, it's the end of the world. And it's the I got the one that got stuck was the one that I found stuck in a tree. <laughs> the irony. Guys, so I'm gonna have to re-rig this because the line got all tangled up in the tree and hubby was able to get my lure. <laughs> but I just have to re-rig it. Let me have it, Bing. I asked hubby if he could tie the knot on my on my little swivel thingy. He gets mad, guys. And y'all know what? He's such a copycat. Because right now I was using that lure that got stuck. And then I tell y'all that he was using one that was similar, but it was gray and black. And then right now I said that I was going to use this one. Or I told him that I was going to use this Rattler because I love this one. In one of the videos that I have, I caught a bass on this one. And then guess what, guys? He put a Rattler on his. No, I did Oh. He, he changed it. He just changed it right now. Cause, Yeah. Thank you, Boo Boo, for tying the knot on my thingy. <laughs> Okay, here we go again with the same lure that got stuck. I'm, I'm gonna throw it a few times and then I'm gonna change it to that rattler that I showed you guys. Hubby's on a roll. He's been changing it from lure to lure because we haven't had any luck. Now he got his stuck. Oh, but his got unstuck pretty fast, so. I guess it was all right, huh, babe? <laughs> that looks cool right there. It looks like if crappie would be right there. We've caught bass along this little edge right here. What is it? It's a little, it's a little bass. <laughs> no, baby, the other way. I'm <laughs> Sorry. Do you record my fishy that I caught? Yeah. Got it. <laughs> I tell you guys, rattlers or rattlers, however you pronounce it, they never fail me. I like them, and especially this white one. It's my favorite one. Um, it's the one I caught that little bass on. But anyways, I'm gonna change it to some other lure. Oh, I'm gonna change it to a lure that my daughter gave me. I always, that's a fun fact. I always, um, I always fish with the fishing lure that my daughter gave me every time we come fishing. I'll show you guys in a bit. Guys, um, the one that my daughter gave me, I left it in the truck, but it's like this one. It's exactly like this one, but it has a little bit of green on it, and that's it. And the only reason I know, it's because the back little hook, it's broken. It only has two little hooks, and this one has three. And like I said, hers has green, so. But it's like this one. Y'all, look. I guess I didn't forget it in the truck after all. Y'all see the back hook? It's missing one. <laughs> I'm going to use it next and I'm going to catch something with that one. Watch. Look at the beauty, guys. The beauty of nature, the beauty of the sky, the water, the little birdies flying in the sky. These are all the lures that I've used so far, and hubbies are over there. Uh, what were you saying, Boo Boo? Oh, that the patch that I did, it stopped it pretty good. Yeah, it, it did. Sticky, but very little. <laughs> Turns out to be a good day. I caught one fishy only, and that was it. The little fishy that we showed you guys, but 
Um, it was a nice relaxing day and that little rig or whatever my hubby did, it worked perfect. I learned that where? In the scouts. <laughs> yeah, he learned it in the scouts. Remember that that's a story that I'm going to tell y'all later. <laughs> but yeah. Pretty cool little contraption my hubby made here. <laughs> if I say so myself. Can we just roll it? Well guys, that was it for today's video. Um, I didn't finish recording anything else because all we did was load up the boat and then as we were trying to go up that little hill that I showed you guys at the beginning, um, we were like sliding down and sliding down and having trouble going up. So um, I didn't record anything else. We're already on our way home and hope we didn't catch anything else and neither did I, but we had a fun time together. Right, baby? Yeah, we did. You caught something at least. Yeah. <laughs> That was a little bitty bass, but see you guys on my next video. Bye. Deuces. <laughs> Look guys, the hole. This thing don't focus, but that's the hole from yesterday. It's big. I mean it's small, but it's big. <laughs> Y'all know that this is a big old crack for a little boat. Dang. We're gonna have to get it fixed.